Welcome back everybody, this is going to be your video on C pointers, but before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I am releasing a C programming crash course, which is going to take all the info from this course and put it in a nice to consume crash course for you guys, so please be sure to check the description for a link to that. Definitely think it'd be helpful for you, so go check it out, especially if you're looking for a job and you just need to do some prep. So thank you guys, now let's get back to pointers. So we talked about pointers in the last video from a conceptual point of view, now I just want to get some hands-on experience. Now when you start learning about pointers, honestly most of the examples are like, what? Like why would I ever use, to, why would I ever need to use this in life? And honestly that's just kind of what you gotta deal with because it's hard to understand the point of pointers. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, until we get into some more advanced programming, some more stuff with memory management and functions, which I intend on going into and um, that's something you just need to know pointers ahead of time before it really starts to make sense. It's kind of like we're building the, the building blocks for something greater, but it's hard to see the end picture with just these building blocks. So in the meantime, just trust me. I know it's hard, but this, this will be a good investment of your time. So to begin, let's just create a variable. And you know, I always got to talk about slices of pizza. That's just what I do here. So we just created an int variable. Now we can create a pointer to this variable like such. So this just created a pointer to an integer, an integer pointer. Now we can assign it a value using the address of operator of slices. So anytime we put this address of operator behind something, we are passing a pointer. We're, we're getting a pointer to that value. So right now we have slices and we have a pointer to slices p. So let's print some values. These are both, these are integer types. So we need to go with a percent D and we could say slices like this. Go to a new line and we can just pass, uh, pass in the argument slices. If we wanted to do the same thing using the pointer, it would look like this. So we use the same format character because we're still just going to ultimately print an integer. And then what we need to do is we need to use this asterisk. And this is called the indirection operator. And it's distinct from this. So this here is used to create a pointer. This here is something else. It's confusing, but you just gotta deal with it. This is the indirection operator and it's the way you get the value where the pointer is pointing at. So we can say the value at P. So let's try this. You can see it prints the same value, which makes sense because we're, we're basically printing the same exact area of memory, one directly and one indirectly using the indirection operator. You may also hear this as dereferencing. So if you dereference a pointer, you're just getting the value where that pointer is pointing to. So that is how you do that. Now you can change the value of slices doing obviously the original way like this let's go to 20 21 you know I don't want to get too fat <laughs> now let's do the same thing we're gonna print both of these and let's execute this ah, there we go okay so first it's 20 20 and then we change the value directly through slices and they both change to 21. So that's proof they're both pointing to the same thing. And we can do the same thing, but now we can do it through the pointer. So to do that, we're talking about the value where the pointer is pointing. So we need to dereference it and set it equal like this. All right, we're gonna go up to 25 now. <laughs> Let's try this again. Just like that. So you can see it changed to 25, both when we access it directly and indirectly. So depending on how you want to change the variable value, you can do it through this indirection operator or you can use the variable itself. It all just depends on the context if you, if you can use this variable or not. Sometimes you'll pass a pointer to functions and then you can change the value doing this. So that is how you, you work with the values and that's pretty much everything for pointers. I mean, obviously it's not everything, but that'll give you a good 
foundation. There are a couple of other things that we're, we're going to talk about in future videos. So for example, I'll give you another thing for you guys. If you wanted to increment the value, you could say this. You could say slices plus plus. But if you did this, it's not going to work quite right. And that's because this operator, the increment operator, has higher precedence over the indirection operator. So what this is actually doing is this. Let me just comment it out. It's doing, which is definitely not what we're trying to do. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to put in parentheses P and then do a plus plus. Now let's print it out. Urgh. Using a little trackpad on my Mac, and it's it's hard to do that. <laughs> so it incremented slices once, and then again through the pointer. So it works. So that's just uh, that's going to come up again in, in the future where you need to use these parentheses. Just always be really careful. So that's all I got for you guys, just to introduce you to 